tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast show. Thanks for joining us at the start of a brand new day. Let's give you a quick update in the world of uh, technology. Strange things happening out there. Governments just <laughs> yeah, clawing not, in, Mr. Richards. Maybe not that strange, man. Nothing is more certain in this life. U.S. Revenue Services want to tax video game currencies. Mm. We know that nothing in life is certain other than death and taxes. And as new industries mature and grow, and you can certainly speak of the gaming industry as one of those, they'll always be sure that governments are around the world are going to try to tax them. They want the dollars, yo. Um, the Internal Revenue Service in the USA, the IRS, wants to tax video game currencies in the future. And there's a lot of money being made in video game currencies. You yeah. can understand that. The IRS has slightly backtracked somewhat after a provision on its website was spotted by avid gamers, nervous gamers. Previously, they were thinking about taxing every in-game currency transaction. And on the archived, archived version of the site, they were talking about uh, Bitcoin, Ether, Roblox, slightly referring to Robux from the game Roblox and Fortnite's V-Bucks and there are a lot of V-Bucks out there listed as the specific examples of convertible virtual currencies. Mm. Um, so with several games featuring an in-game economy where real money can be made and, and there are kids making a lot of real money out of it, um, any incomes from these will be taxed by most governments around the world in years to come. They, they kind of got to do it I suppose. Wow. Um, the likes of Second Life made it possible for people to make vast amounts of money through in-game activities activities and later many made money selling leveled up characters in the world of Warcraft Ooh. as well. So you can kind of take a character, build him up, get his experience points, turn him to something that's really awesome and then sell him on to another gamer. Um, you know, you can buy, you know, cosmetic things, clothing, you can dress your characters differently, you can buy all sorts of new weapons and things like that. And if you're spending three or four hours on a game and wanting to get ahead, Every eh? morning. money talks, yo. I was how actually crazy is that? about to ask, how do you make money off of gaming? Is it like gambling? Is it betting? Ah, no, how there's there's so many, not really bad. There's, yeah, there's, 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 there's a certain okay, level of no. skill required. In yeah, no, look, a lot of the guys you cost. own over mm. a long period of time yeah. in order to make it viable for you. Like for instance, I I play FIFA because I like I love the game, mm -hmm. but I'm not at that level where I can become a competitive FIFA player where those that are literally make millions oh, wow. a year. I mean, a lot of the guys, they cast, so that's stuff. where they film themselves basically playing, they do tutorials, and they just film and narrate their gameplay, and that gets massive, massive revenue on YouTube wow. as well. There is a whole underground economy, but it's this database of the, the amount of gamers and people that are interested that is driving the whole eSports bubble now, the fact that they can amass huge prize pools. I mean, the, the prize money involved is starting to dwarf all other American yeah. sports. So you'll have one gaming what? tournament. And we heard about that kid, the... the um, Fortnite winner who pocketed something like million. 20 million or something. Excuse but see, I think me. That's, 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 that's understandable because that, that's an income like that. But I think what they're talking about is like in-game money. So yeah, where, so where transactions a... start happening between players, like for instance with V-Bucks now, you buy them with real world money. money. Yeah. It mm. converts to a currency on the gaming platform. Then and then with the sale stuff, and transaction yeah. between players, you can then accumulate that currency. Now, at some point, if they don't tax it and regulate it, you might get Absolutely. somebody who turns that into its own economy. Now, you don't just buy upgraded players. Now, you can buy a cool new controller, yeah. which is mm. now a real a world thing, but it's equated yeah. to oh, real I money. See. So you kind of have to okay, I see. I see. cater for that, I see. Wow. No okay. one is exempt, yeah, man. No one is, no one is exempt. All oh, right. Anyway.